All right, we wanted to go over uh, the Rogan, which we introduced uh, not too long ago, and some of the upcoming options, how they work, how I use them, things like that. So obviously right here, this is a standard Rogan, standard belt. Uh, one of the really cool things with this belt and the Rogan, this belt is also what goes on our hip quiver, uh, and you can use the Rogan with the hip quiver. It's super simple. Uh, next up, which this one's a little beat up. I've been using it uh, guiding down in Texas and hunting. This is the Rogan with the Mini, as well as the Nalgene Bottle Pocket or the Gen 2, and the Battle Belt. There will be a much more in-depth video on this Battle Belt, but this is a rigid belt, so it allows you to haul a little bit more weight uh, and a little bit more comfortable. Now, after we have this whole system to kind of make the, you know, the big picture with the uh, end outlook or the, the end outcome we wanted, uh, Bender also made a hydration pack. This hydration pack can be used in many different ways, but the way that I personally like to use it is kind of a full kit system. I will take, and this will work with any one inch harness, any, any one inch bino harness. I unclip my standard harness, and then you clip this right into it. So now I basically have a hydro pack that'll hold uh, up to a two liter bladder that you can also put a belt pouch on the back to add a little bit more room. I'm gonna leave that one unbuckled, that's how I put it on. So now, get these out of the way a little bit. I usually stuff these in here, but I'm not a very good video guy because I screwed this up. Either way, you get the idea. That can tuck up in here, fold over, however you wanna do it, but now I have a full hydro pack system where I can put a little bit of gear in here, two to three liter bladder. I've also got a pocket here. The one thing that's really nice with how Bender did this is if I'm on a stock in a tree stand, whatever, I can actually uh, pull this out to get a drink and you know, with enough force, I can actually jam that back in there and it stays out of the way. I can take a shot, it's not flopping around. And I just pull it out as far as I need to get a drink, push it back in there. With these, I left these a little bit long. I don't really need to, I don't need, I would normally cut these off, but we've had so many different body sizes, uh, people trying them, I left them a little bit longer, but I can actually cut quite a bit off of these. Bender's probably, well, he's to my right. How tall are you, Bender? 6'4". Six, 6'4 four. Six, four and a meaty 260? Oh. Yeah, so Bender's pretty big dude. Um, and you know, cold weather, Bender fishes quite a bit. This thing will fit pretty much anyway. I haven't met a guy that hasn't fit of you. Yeah, I had a guy that was about 340 try it on and the hydro pack worked fine for him. So now, as far as the system goes, I've got a hydro pack, I've got room left inside that, I've got my, my pocket back here, this is a large. On the front, um, and I've tried this with the T&K uh, bino harness as well as the marsupial. I've got my range finder, I've got my little mini pocket here that uh, these guys sell, and then I've got my battle belt with the Rogan, the Mini, and a Nalgene. I don't personally uh, like wearing that Nalgene unless I have to. So since I have the Hydro Pack, I can pop this off and put another Mini on here and be fully set up and ready to go uh, for, for what my intended use initially when I was talking with Bender about this. Now, with this, the Rogan, it works great for fly fishing. There's actually holes here for um, like where you hook, hook the hemostats to, the little retractors that you can run that, uh, and, and it works great. Me personally, I wanted this for when we jump out of the truck, haul ass up on a stock, uh, to where I have just enough to keep me, the client alive, have some water, a little bit of food, things like that. So what I kind of want to do now is, I'm going to get this set up with both mini belt pouches, and, and have this ready to go and lay all my gear out and show where I, what I put where in this, and give some situation where this thing comes in really handy. All right, so over here, I've got the hydro pack, and this isn't out yet, but it's coming out soon, and then a marsupial gear bino harness. Uh, again, uh, the T and K and marsupial, I've used both with this hydro harness, it works really well. Over here, I've got the Rogan, the battle belt, and two uh, of the mini belt pouches. And then as far as the gear goes, the way that I set this up, especially if I'm guiding, um, is I will double up on a few things with the idea when we take off if the client doesn't really have anything uh, and we need to split up 
I can hand him my Rogan and still have things like my wet wipes or a backup headlamp or things like that. And then he can take this from me if he needs it, especially if he's gonna go in on the final stock and we're gonna be separated by 80 to 100 yards. You know, they can be snacks in here. I may have that uh, uh, Gen 2 Nalgene pocket on this so he's got some water. So some of these things are doubled up and that's why. Um, if I'm just going in for whitetail hunting, like tree stand hunting, some of these things are coming out. Like I'm not gonna really need uh, camo paint, for example. I'm probably not gonna need a compass. I'm not gonna need fire starter. I may take some of those things out, uh, but I'll put calls in. So this isn't exactly what I have, but it gives you an idea. So as far as the hydro pack, what I do here, this is a 5D, or excuse me, uh, Canon G5 Mark II. This is just a, a point and shoot camera. Uh, I try to keep that on me all the time. So that goes in the large belt pouch. Uh, wet wipes, that is extremely important. Uh, so that goes with me at all times. My backup can of chew goes with me at all times. And then this is just a, a big a wet wipe that's uh, kind of a disinfecting wipe. I'll usually put that in here or in here. So in this as well, I'm going to put uh, aqua tabs. I always have these no matter what animal that I'm hunting. I'll have these in here as in my uh, chest harness up front. And I just keep a few of them extra. Inside of this, I can put a lightweight shirt in there, but it's just a bladder right now. In the front here, up uh, inside this, I already have it in there, is the uh, ultralight Taito knife and some backup blades. In this, I put a pocket knife actually over here before I kick that off. Lip balm for my nose, uh, that's trioxane, lighter, backup tab, backup battery for my rangefinder. This is a Petzl headlamp, uh, it's like a, a mini, I can't remember the name of it. That goes in there. I usually do a better job organizing, you guys get the point. And these are the wind floaters. Uh, to tell which way the thermals and wind directions are going. It's just milkweed and then I can watch the wind, which way the wind's blowing. So, more or less, I'm going to have that stuff in there all the time. Again, I may add or take away from that, depending. Um, I'll just throw this on now so you guys can get the idea. With the two liter bladder, the reason why I don't run the three, in, uh, I don't know if Bender found this to be true or not, with the two and a set of 10 power binoculars, um, it evens up the weight pretty good. If I start to get three liters back here, a ton of crap, this will ride up a little bit up front. That's with binoculars, obviously with tens, uh, but with the two, it fits pretty well. So with the Rogan and the battle belt, this pocket back here is to uh, pull out your nine and bust a cap. I generally don't carry a pistol ever, so I use this uh, for storage, but that pocket there is generally for carrying a pistol. So back here, I usually take my wet wipes, something, this part here, I wanted something that's flexible that's gonna bend, ar bend around. These are liquid IVs, and I usually keep a couple of these uh, around. I'll either put them in here, if I have a bunch of them, because I'm gonna be out all day, I'll put a couple in here, and then some in actually the mini belt pouch. And then I generally put my beanie hat in there. This right here, I'm usually gonna put my GPS inside that. This is a 601 or 701 uh, Garmin Fortrex. These, believe it or not, this is backup contacts. I've got, especially when I'm down in Texas or Alberta, the wind, uh, I always keep a backup set of contacts in there. I got a migraine pill, some ibuprofen, just simple stuff like that. I think I have Benadryl in there as well. Believe it or not, I always take a spoon uh, as much as I can with me just in case. So that actually goes in the mini. Backup tab. And I try to disperse the weight on this equally. So on this side, if I'm not carrying an algae, I usually actually don't have this string on here, but if I'm on, if I'm hunting and on stocks, especially for mule deer, this is carbo mask and I'll carry either all three of these or at least one color to break out, get the shine off my face. These are more aqua tabs. 
Again, I'm either going to put these in one of these pockets. I'm also going to have them up here. I just, I'd like to always have these with me. I'll put these in here for now. Headlamp. I always carry two headlamps. This is going to go in the main pocket of the Rogan. There's a little actually stretchy nylon pocket right there that I put that in. Uh, so this, it really depends. Um, and this, I, I have a Zolio and this is a Garmin inReach uh, Explorer. I'm either going to, depending upon the situation, have this uh, in the pack or obviously have this with me here. It's going to depend on who might have service and who might not. So if I drop somebody in on a stock, but I'm going to be on top with service, I may send him with my inReach so I can text him on the inReach if needed. So this will just bounce back and forth between my, my pack or, or the Rogan. And again, these are just examples. Uh, this is just um, basically 2.8 millimeter guy line. Um, it's reflective and I've got it daisy chained. There's another pocket in here. I usually stuff it in there, keep it from getting tangled. I usually carry some type of a compass. I have one here on my wristwatch, um, but this is a, a Sunto M9. Sometimes I'll bring this, sometimes I won't. A lot of times with a client, I may give him this, so if I'm trying to text him general directions and he doesn't know, he can at least look at the compass so he doesn't go the wrong way. I know that sounds crazy, but it does happen frequently. This is just marking ribbon in case uh, something gets hit and we got a blood trail. Taito knife and backup blades. Uh, you're probably thinking, why the hell do I have all these knives? Well, again, I may separate this if I need to, or if I leave this in the Can-Am or something, I've got everything I need here, but I also have it in the Rogan. It's just a good idea and it's not that heavy. There's little um, pockets in the Rogan and there's also little pockets in here. There's a lot of ammo in it. That's not the normal standard load. Let's put that over here. These are eye drops. Again, with the wind and everything and the dust, it's pretty bad. So um, I keep those with me. Lighter. Backup batteries. This is another backup headlamp. This is the version that Petzl should have stayed with, but like everything, they changed it and I'm pissed. But this is super simple. Just a cord pops on. It's bright enough, so it's good for a backup. I usually put that in one of those pockets in the mini. Backup windicator. I don't always have this. Again, the reason why I have a backup is really more for the client if he doesn't have any and we have to separate. Lens wipes. Those are actually probably going to go in here. This is a Montana Knife Company knife. Um, sometimes I actually, I don't use this and attach it to my belt very often, so a lot of times I'll take that clip off. Uh, but I try to at least have a foldable and a fixed blade with me or in here. In this case, I have a foldable uh, Benchmade here. And then this is a little bit more beefy knife right there. And then again, this is the wind floaters. I don't always have two. But if I am guiding, I will have a backup in here uh, so the client can use it if needed. There's a lot of spare room in this now and in this pack. That will be snacks a lot of times because I'm a fatty and I like to eat. So I'll have snacks and whatever room I have left in there. And if I'm hunting whitetail, um, the kind of the beauty of this system with calls is you can wear it backwards and it works extremely well. So once I've got all this buttoned up and ready to go, I could weigh everything out exactly, but with the water and everything else, I think it was 14 pounds fully loaded um, with both systems. So not horribly bad dispersed around my waist and obviously on my back. As you can see, that is rigid where that plastic is, which is super nice. So once I get that loaded up, everything is dispersed evenly across from me so I'm not leaning one way or another. I don't have any obstructions for me to shoot my bow. And if I need to drop this, if I'm guiding again, I can just hand him the Rogan and he can wear it. I've got water, I've got everything I need in a very sleek package. It doesn't drag you down, you don't sweat a ton, so it works really, really well. Um, other than that, we're looking at probably two to three weeks before a lot of this stuff goes on the market. Um, so it is coming. Um, I believe uh, Bender's gonna take over with the rest of the system after this. We do have a chest rig coming out. Uh, kind of a flat